take your time and find the facts and not the mess. Now, <laughs> and remember, um, I need you to say this because there's so many other people out there. There's so much opportunity for all of us to make the world healthier. So let's just focus on that. Um, first of all, sucralose. Why do we have sucralose? Well, we have sucralose in our shake to make it diabetic friendly. A lot of people who are overweight also have diabetes or are worried about their blood sugar level. So we're using it to help make it diabetic friendly. We're also using it because it's the most studied, most approved, most used sweetener in the world. It's approved by over 85 countries. So like I say, if you're worried about it, really, think about all these World Health Organizations, all these ministries of health who've looked at the safety and efficacy data and said, yeah, we will allow that in. And look at those agencies, like the uh, American Cancer Society or the um, American Diabetics Association that also have endorsed it. And ask yourself, what is the myth? Now, there's a lot of myths on the internet, and the myth could have started by a sweetener called aspartame, which when it's cold, it's safe, when it's heated, it can't be great. So we don't use aspartame for a number of reasons. People will ask me, why don't you use agave? Agave is a low glycemic sugar. Well, agave is 90% fructose, and fructose is like hunger. So that's not something you really want in a weight loss product. It's just like hunger, right? So it makes sense. Um, other people will go, why don't you use stevia? Well, we have a little bit of stevia in our Go and Pro, but I can tell you in the n number of rounds we would need in the shake, it would taste good. If it doesn't taste good, you're not going to use it. And also, larger amounts of stevia can cause gas, which we also don't want to do to you, right? So, um, so we really do think about the science and the um, efficacy and the safety when we put it into our shake. And again, the myth out there is that it's chlorinated and people go, oh my god, that's chlorine right in a swimming pool. And it's not. What that means is they take the sugar molecule and attach it to a chloride. Chlorides are found in tomatoes, spinach, fruits, and vegetables. And all that does is it helps the sugar molecule pass through your body. So um, there's a lot of mess. It's very safe. That's why it's um, just, you know, that's why we use it. I love it. Thank you so much. Our uh, next question, and I know that I've personally heard this a zillion times, and you can probably uh, answer the questions here, why soy in our product? There's so many reasons why we use soy. And again, there's a lot of myths on the internet. In countries like Japan and most of Asia, where people consume high amounts of soy, they have healthier, uh, less disease, healthier people and populations. And the reasons we use soy are multiple. First of all, it's easily digested. That's important for young and old alike. That's why soy is used in infant formula, because it's easy to digest. And as we get older, we have a harder time digesting protein. That's why one of the number one reasons for people entering a nursing home is loss of lean muscle. So soy is very important for helping build and maintain lean muscle. It's also a complete protein. It's the most complete uh, protein on the market outside of animal protein. So it's easily digested. And clinical studies show it helps build lean muscle equal to, if not better than whey protein, um, as well as adequate consumption of soy in your diet can help your body fight heart disease and cholesterol. And I was just looking at a new study in Modat that said 40 grams of soy protein in your diet daily can help reduce the inflammation of the arteries. Now again, we can't make drug claims, but those are some of the reasons we use soy protein. Perfect. I love it. Um, tell us a little bit about MSG. Okay, now there's another myth, and I, I'm only ask, answering this because these are some of the most frequently asked questions that I get emailed in to me. And one of the questions I get asked is, do you have MSG in your shake? And the answer is we have no MSG in any of our products. Now the interesting thing is your body actually takes something called glutamic acid and converts it to MSG in your body. So the stuff that they say is bad for your, your body actually makes on its own. And if you didn't have MSG in your body, you would be dead within minutes because it's a neurotransmitter. <laughs> but it's different MSG than the chemical MSG, and we don't use that. We don't have any energy in our product. Perfect. Um, and tell us a little bit about the quality of our product. Um, the other question I get asked a lot is, why um, are your products FDA approved, and what about the quality of your product? So first of all, the FDA does not approve supplements. They don't approve food. However, they approve every ingredient that goes into a supplement and every ingredient that is considered a food. And the reason they do that is like, think about it. Do they really have the time to go off and test every single cracker on your store shelf and say you can eat that? No. But they can say, well, if you're going to make a cracker, it 
have to have this much flour, it has to have this much in it. Um, so they approve every ingredient in our product, they don't approve the actual final product. Now our product is made in a CGMP facility, that means it's certified good manufacturing products or current good manufacturing products, and that is a certification process, it takes a lot of money and a lot of time to get that. Our plant is also kosher, so for any of those of you who know about kosher approval, what that means is there's additional sanitization, storage, testing protocols that we have to follow to get that kosher approval. Every ingredient that is on our shake had to be approved by the Orthodox Union, the supplier, the source of it, the potency, the purity, to get that Orthodox Union uh, certification. So then, um, what that means is every ingredient that comes into our manufacturing plant is tested for potency and purity to our standards. If it doesn't match it, we don't use it. Then we test during manufacturing to ensure that every product is made consistently and that you have the same product time and time again. We test at the end of manufacturing to make sure we meet label claims. Then we send it to outside independent testing labs. And as you've seen, we've got Brunswick is one, Covance is another, Silica. All these are large independent testing labs. They test to verify all of that, that everything we say is in the shake and nothing more, plus we test for heavy metals, etc. So there's a lot of work that goes into all of those products behind the scenes to make sure that you have the best products on the planet. Awesome. Thank you so much.